I'm Melandria, and this is my Sartharian plus two dragons, 25 man walkthrough. For this boss, you'll need a main tank and two off tanks, and preferably a hunter for misdirect. Six to seven healers is preferable, especially learning the fight. It's also especially helpful if you have a shaman for bloodlust to get one of the dragons down quick. For this fight, it's especially helpful if you set your camera to max range so that way you can see all the flame waves and all the bad stuff that could kill you. Also, you want to set your spell effects the lowest that you can. You'll still be able to see the void zones. For this fight, you'll be taking out one of the dragons. I highly recommend Shadron. You also need to take out all of the adds that are surrounding Sartharian because they will come once you pull him. To begin the fight, you'll be at the edge of Sartharian's platform. The hunter then will misdirect to the main tank, and everyone else will go to where Sartharian was originally standing. The main tank can tank Sartharian to the left or right, whichever one works out best. The off tank picking up the other dragons will go to the very back of the platform, towards the middle. This is where the dragons will land. They will then kite them over to the left or right side, towards the edge, and position the dragon so that way it's facing away from the other raid members. There are a few key things that you need to look out for. The first one is flame wave. You need to call out so that way it's A or B, front or back, one or two, so that way people know when to run for the safe spot in between the flame waves. Also, when the other dragons are up, shadow fishers will spawn. They will kill you if you stand in them, so make certain to get out of them ASAP. For the drakes, there's power of Tenebron, which increases shadow damage taken by 100%. He lands after 30 seconds and hatches eggs. Next is the power of Vesperon, which decreases max health by 25%. He lands 120 seconds after the pull, and you need to go into his portal after he's dead to kill his disciple. Sartharian cleaves. He also has a tail whip, which stuns for two seconds. His frontal breath ability hits for 12k fire damage, and he does a pyro buffet if anyone is not inside his platform. There are also adds that spawn. The first is fire elementals, which have 65k health, but then enrage and have 120k health when they get hit by the lava wave. Last is Tenebron Swelps. They have approximately 120k health and put a debuff on the off tank, reducing armor by 1200 per stack. This fight is filled with bad things that want to kill you. The most important thing to avoid is the flame waves. They happen approximately every 45 seconds and they're regular intervals, so you always know exactly where the safe spot is going to be. Designate somebody to call out where that is. If you'll notice in the video, our main tank has positioned Sartharian, so that way, at one point, he's always in a safe spot, and he simply has to move to the right to get to the other safe spot for him. Off tanks will be taking the drakes that they pick up to the opposite side where Sartharian is. This is to maximize the area that ranged and healers have to move around, and also makes certain that Sartharian never gets his breath on anybody else. 30 seconds into the fight, Tenebron will land. The off tank needs to immediately pick him up and take him to the edge of the lava. Try to make certain that Sartharian and the other drake are, heads are on the opposite sides. This makes certain that no one gets hit by their breath again, and also so that way ranged and healers have the maximum amount of space to kind of move around with just in case a shadow fissure should happen to pop up. At this same time, you should be getting hatchlings. The other off tank needs to pick them up along with the fire elementals so that way they're not going around whacking people. Also, make certain to pop bloodlust in all of your trinkets right when Tenebron is down. You want to kill him as soon as you can so that way you avoid too many hatchlings. You also need enough time to kill Tenebron and his adds before Vesperon lands. If you can do that, it will make this fight significantly easier, because the transition won't be so hectic. After Vesperon lands, you can ignore his portals until after he's dead. Once he's dead, have a healer and a tank and DPS go down and kill his disciple. You don't have to, but this makes the fight extremely easy. Once Tenebron and Vesperon is down, the fight basically goes back to what it originally was. Make certain to dodge the lava flows. 
fishers will no longer spawn so you don't have to worry about those. You will continue to have to worry about the fire elemental adds. They spawn about two to four each time, approximately every 30 seconds. Take them down once you see them. Uh, if they get hit by the lava flows, they do hit about 400% more, so it's very important to get those down as you can. If you have about eight up at a time, you're more than likely going to wipe. At approximately 10%, Sartherian does a soft enrage and summons about 10 of the fire ele elemental adds. They of course will need to be off tanked, but you need to ignore them. Burn Sartherian and get him down, because once you kill him, all of those adds will disappear. Now granted, even after you kill him, um, a few might still spawn, but it'll be only one or two and you can easily take them down. For this fight, it's crucially important to pay attention what's going on and where you need to stand, what you need to get out of. Once you get that down, the fight is very, very simple, until you get to three drakes. But until that time, make certain to pay attention, and it's a good game, and have fun. I'm going to leave the rest of the video up to its entirety, so that way you can see exactly how the fight goes the whole entire time. If you have questions about something, please message me on YouTube. I'd be more than happy to answer your questions. This is a very tedious fight, but once you get it down, you're good.